Hello, this is uh, Dave, and welcome uh, to Equity Story. I'm here with Mr. Wolf, and it's obviously just general share advice and not personal advice, as per the disclaimer you can read on the website. Now, Wolfie, 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 I'm going to start with Playside. Oh, um, please start with the good stuff. Because we like to talk about the ones that we, we you know, we're... We look like heroes. Of, look like heroes. It makes us feel better about life and about ourselves and makes yeah. us, you know, and helps with our sort of every time we have to see the psychologist, it cheers mm -hmm. us up a bit. Yeah. Um, much stronger than we thought. We've, we thought uh, we're talking about three or four million revenue, eight million. Mm -hmm. So what what a what a play by Playside. Sorry about the pun. I didn't mean to do that, but... <laughs> Oh, it was a great play by Playside, Dave. I think you're absolutely right there. I and mean, you know what? You, you got it when you think about it. How sneaky are they, yeah? They picked us, I mean, 2 million. People were going, ah, this is just old legacy stuff. It's got nothing. You know, what are they buying that for? Hello? They've turned, this, they've turned 2 million into 8 million and possibly much, much more because if you read through the announcement and the plans they've got for... Um, uh, for that d dumb ways to die franchise, they've got games coming out, it's more NFTs, so it's almost like a whole new category that they've, they've um, established in there. This could be lucrative as Dave. I don't, I can't even put a, I can't even put a target of how much revenues I'm expecting out of this. I think completely surprised by this eight million. I'm thinking, okay, let's let's say this is like a you know one off type eight million, but I'm thinking the games themselves could generate a significant significant amount. So I'm thinking that's a whole new ball game. I, I, I'm I'm starting to think that's place that can get to, let's say, so they're 10 million last last year. I'm thinking probably double their revenues at least this year, plus the 10 million, you know, maybe even go close to 30 million. I'm thinking that by saying two or three years time, they could get to up to 50 million in revenues, which is which would be extraordinary and you know incredible for us because this is going to probably keep rocketing up. Uh Wolf and what you know, they bought the business for just over two million. Mm. They've already pulled like six months later eight million out of it, and yeah. uh, and there's so much more on, on top of it, and lots more games. And you know, this, um, what many ways to die franchise, what's it called? Yeah, dumb way, dumb way to dumb ways to die franchise. So, uh, certainly not a dumb way to uh invest your money at the moment, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's probably should be called the smart way to invest money. Uh, yeah, no, so anyway, listen, congratulations to them, congratulations yeah. to people holding. And guess what? If it looks like this by the end of the week, we'll, we'll, and at the end by the end of the week, Wolf, it's got a massive buy signal. So, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, look, if I if you're a holder still, you know, you would have played some pro profits maybe between that one and 124, which we know most of us probably have. Hold on. Um, if it goes back to a dollar, it's probably buying opportunity, right? So that's how I'm looking at this now. I think this is now set a whole new bar of possibilities here for what I'm looking at this dumb waste of day. I, like I said, it's just added a completely new um, facet to me because it's going to the crypto world, but it's also going into new franchise possible games that could add probably about three or four revenue streams. Uh, very good, brilliant, uh, brilliant business, and uh, hmm. well picked there, Mr. Wolf. Back at uh, was it thirty cents, forty cents? Um, KPG. Hmm. I mean, this is another one that you've liked. The only trouble is, is maybe valuation, but good-looking chart, Wolf. Look, I've always had a soft spot for this business, right? Due to the fact that they are just ticking along, um, you know. The, maybe the model is not my favorite either, which is the acquisitive type stuff. But how else are you going to expand unless you open up your own um, franchise business offices somewhere along the, the countryside? The quickest way to do it is just acquire some smaller players and turn them into something similar to yours, right? So that, that's been working for them because they've obviously shown it's been working for some time now. So you've got to back them. You've got to back them and say, look, this model may be working for the moment, so we're going to get onto this and keep riding it. And while it's trading on, let me see. It's actually, hang on, let me have a look. It's trading on a, a um, P of 47. So, you know, you can't say this is cheap and this is great. You can only say this is actually still growing nicely. So this is a trade only. So if you're still on it, you're, you're holding. Other than that, you know, See where it goes. I, I think it's it's the longer keep delivering the same sort of acquisitions and numbers, it's probably going to keep going. 
Wolf, IMD again mm -hmm. came out of a very strong, I think, a record half year revenue of 167 million, up 34.9 percent. Yep. Uh, what did you make of it? Look, numbers look pretty good on, on paper. So, yeah, absolutely top line, bottom line, all pretty good, good numbers, very strong growth. And we've seen a lot of these engineers lately have come out actually pretty pretty good numbers. So you've got to probably trend them. So this is a trending sp space or sector day for the moment. Um, so I'm happy to be on this still. The only thing I don't like again for out of this, which is strange for a engineer, it's actually, if you look at uh, Reuters, they are saying it's trending on 38 times. Let's say they haven't calculated today's numbers by 50%. So you're looking at still, at still about 20, 23 times. Which is actually quite expensive for a company. In this it is, for an engineer, it is. Absolutely. So you are trending this only. All right. Let's have a look at JHX. Mm -hmm. It sort of bounced back over the trend line, which is good to say, Wolf. Um, yep. But what did you make of the announcement? Yeah, decent. You know, it, it's it's a company that's I've been really kicking a lot of goals. Um, I suppose the only issue is lately is, you know, we had that boardroom um, shuffle uh, where they MD has left. So it still looks good, but well, let's see. You know, I think you probably need to give it another six months before you get excited about it because you just never know with new CEO whether he can replicate the previous CEO's success. Uh, Wolf, Grain Corp. We talked about this one last week. We actually put it in the in the war stocks. Mm -hmm. um, thank God war hasn't happened yet, but um, some good, uh, uh, very good numbers coming out. Tell you what, um, what strong numbers coming out. It's unbelievable numbers coming out of GNC, which really, if you look at the history of it, it's a boring as bad stock. Oh. Right? Right. <laughs> yet, yet, it's delivered really good numbers. So it's been a, on a tear and the conditions are just super duper for them. So I don't think it's going to get any better than this, right? So you, again, you probably have to be very wary of it um, and trade accordingly. Um because, you know, this is cyclical. Ag agriculture is cyclical. So right now, everything is pointing great numbers. And obviously, that's what they delivered today. Uh, big updates. So you always want to buy updates. Uh, but you know that with time, it's never, it's, it can get, keep going like this forever. But you never know. This could get up to 10 bucks quite easily, right, uh, without by betting an eyelid. And let me just see what they are trading on, just to give a, a perspective on the actual valuation and the financials. Um, and you know what? 12 times. 3.6% yield, easily 10 bucks. Yeah, no, it's looking very, very good, isn't it? Mm. Um, would you feel happy to put this one on as a trade, Wolf, or do you think you'd wait to the end of the week with this market? I think I'd wait into the week. Look, if it starts maybe get through that previous high, then maybe you think about it in the middle of the week, right? Go for it. Uh, but I think let's just see how the market settles, especially when the market's so volatile at the moment and we've still got the US this week, a lot of reporting to be done. So yeah, I'm wary to just jump into things this at this point in time. Thanks, that, Wolf. Um, RZI, first sort of disappointing announcement for a while, Wolf. What's going on yep. there? Yeah, look, it's definitely the, the, the slowdown because of the tech sell-off uh, and the real market volatility. And you can see, finally, they've cracked and it, the FUM's gone un backwards, right? So not surprising. Look, you're going to have periods of you're going to see that. Still liking the story overall, but, you know, probably the good thing, you know, the, the chart told us to get out and that's what we did. So we're sitting on the sidelines for the moment. Well, for CTT, mm -hmm. um, a little bit a uh, little bit too late. They could have done with this announcement last week. Uh, unfortunately, the, the trend's down. It's not enough to recover yet. So uh, I'm still not interested, but okay. Is it going to save them, this announcement? Either going to make them or break them. Really, this is this is a big move. China, you know, is it's a market that you can either make huge huge amounts or go home with a tail between your legs. So let's see what happens. Look, it's a brave move, but it's a ma massive market for for companies that sell those luxury goods because there's a lot of money in China. So you just never know. Um, look, it's part of the strategy. So good luck for them. Well, for Obviously, I had Weebit. I'll have a look at the Einstein in a second. I've, Weebit was looking bullish. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you could go on with it. And if it can break over that uh, $4, maybe in the daily, this could go on. I mean, we saw what Brainchip did. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's um i think uh this could turn out to be an interesting trade but a lot of risk in it so we're not going to put it on ourselves at the moment wolf but for those i know we've got some uh, really good professional traders out there who've done the cincinnati course but uh, maybe something to have a look at if this can break above four dollars and uh, get a stop loss, stop loss somewhere around that 389 level yeah it looks bloody good doesn't it it's um strong chart it's following probably what uh brain has chip has done you know it's in the same similar space so again i hope they do okay and hopefully they, if, if anyone's in this uh it cracks through that four bucks okay mr wolf new stock yes new stock I... and pretty interesting stock by the way oh. it's looking great so ipg yes new to the market what does it what does it do and uh why should we be having a look at this mr wolf Dave, I already have to like, you know, bow down to the management. It's just unbelievable. They've only been listed for what, four, eight, nine weeks and a big upgrade already to the prospectus numbers, right? 20% is a big, big number to upgrade your prospectus, both the top and EBIT lines. I mean, that that is really, really good. They're in the electrical space, um, providing um, products um, in that space. And, you know, you, I suppose when you see a lot of infrastructure going up, uh, mining space, uh, housing, and so on. Uh, you know, there's, I'd, I'd say they are really in a good good position at the moment. I think also from what I've just read, and this is, remember, this is just a brief thing I'm looking through at the moment because this is the first time I can actually come across it this morning. Um, it, you know, it's navigating through their uh, supply chain issues. It looks like very, very well, uh, and there's really big demand. So potentially uh, it's looking pretty good. Now, can they keep going with this? But what a great start, right? It's a company that's been only listed a very short space of time can deliver that. You've got to be loving it. So I would be putting this on my watch list. And if they can actually stay like this by the end of the week, they may be buying it even because it's trading on 16 times, which is not expensive. Uh, and, you know, it's an industrial. We like that at the moment. You know, technology stocks are probably not the, the place to jump back into it, but stuff like this, this is. Uh, Wolf, uh, we are, as you said, rebuilding the Einstein's part of the website. So, but mm -hmm. we did send out an email with Einstein's recommendations. And I just thought we'd have a quick look uh, if there's anything that sort of tickled your, tickled your fancy. Because there were a few stocks that came up and I thought, oh, Mr. Wolf might like this. And the first one was obviously ALD, mm -hmm. which we've spoken and had a little bit of a buy signal. And it is going through it, uh, but it looks like a sort of pretty strong uh, trade up back up to that sort of 32 level. Mm -hmm. I think it was interesting to see, you can see they're doing very well today. The, the energy stocks look good, Wolf. Yeah, they do, don't they? I mean, yeah. I think I saw the oil and gas price um, 92, 93 bucks now. So that's heading back towards 100. Like you said, we don't, don't know what's going to happen in Ukraine and Russia stash yet. Um, so that could you know, potentially be a big positive to the oil and gas prices. So for the moment, if you're on this trade, you hold on to it. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we put our wood side as our trade last week, but really uh, Santos is looking uh, pretty yummy. Mm. Obviously, wood side looking better and better. Um, Origin uh looking very very good as well um and car again looking the number very, of stocks i suppose you can pick and play with yeah yeah they were definitely the sort of how do you say the preferred ones but yep. yeah generally speaking they're all looking pretty strong ac across the board wolf yeah um i think we we, we had the uh bck up uh what was that eight percent today i mean i think it had a good jump on an announcement um and uh obviously kpg mad looked very good and uh, the price action last week was extraordinary. Um, so again, pretty good. We put PTB had a good looking chart. That's why it's hot stock wolf. It's not expensive dividend. It's one of our dividend plays actually wolf. And it, you yes. know, it looks like they're, they're reporting on the 23rd of this month. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it, my gut feeling is we could, we could hit, get be, better news than we expect out of them wolf. I okay. hope so. Look, they've already they've already updated it tw twice since we've actually started lo looking at this story and liking it, uh, and they've been positive. So you know, you 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 think to yourself that uh, the I suppose the we've we've got the chances on our side. So yeah, I'm, I'm still liking this at one twenty nine and a half. Uh, Wolf, um, I just want to say like PMV looked pretty good on the charts. We spoke about this one, a great announcement last week. Mm -hmm. Certainly looks uh, like it could be a back up to that thirty two level. Uh, gin look good, little jumbo. Um, I thought they're bouncing off the trend and starting to get a, a nice sort of trend working here. Wolf, I think if we get so looking good. Um, 
PWH looked absolutely stunning. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they could go on with it this week. Do you know when they're announcing Mr. Wolf? No, no, I don't. But let's have a quick look on oh, Morningstar. Hang on. Corporate guy, Morningstar. Okay. No, give me a sec. Okay, so uh, PWH, PWH. Where are we? Oh my God, there's so many, so many companies. How do I search through these? Hang on. Uh, you've, put, you've put Control Find. Uh, control F, right? Control F, yeah. Control F. It's not working on mine. Why isn't that working on mine? That's, all, that's all right. Sorry, I can't. I can't. It's not working on my PW. That's uh, Control Find. But anyway, uh, how about I found it for you, for everyone tomorrow? I'll have a look. But okay. I think it's right. I mean, 23rd. Did you say 23rd? Um, oh, no, you said the other one was 23rd. So yeah. let's have a look at this one quickly. Hang on. we got to find it while we're at it. So Peter, da, 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 no, not there. Monday. No. Okay, let's go back slightly. PWH, not there. Interim report, PWH, not there. I found it, Wolf. Where is it? Come on, tell me what day. Eighteenth. Ah, there we go. It's just about just about to come there. And, and I'll tell you what. It was. It was sort of. It was. It was. A, it was going to be between that one and uh, PTB for hot stocks. Mm -hmm. Um, I just went for really PTB just for the value was cheaper in this market. Fair enough. But I mean PWH, good story. It's been on a right rocket. I mean I know you visited the company. Uh, you know the story pretty at your instant, but it, I mean, the price action last week was very, very good. So possibly it can go on with it. Um, mm. Wolf and uh, obviously, again, some of another one of the dividend plays, I think MTO looking pretty good. Yeah. And one that hasn't actually gone on with it so far is, is SHG, uh, SHJ, sorry. Uh, but again, Shine Corp is historically a strong dividend player, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's again, you know, I've got that really big bad bitter taste in my mouth from uh Slade and gordon right we know what happened there yeah but i'm really not touching any legal firms whatsoever <laughs> because of that bad experience quite right wolf once uh once bitten twice shy as they say exactly. so yeah trading no problems just be careful but loving it and buying it for the long term no thanks well said wolf um and another of your favorites in health looking very good mm -hmm. ebo I mean, great looking chart, great swinging chart, good company. You know, it's a great will and dealer, so why not? Looks excellent, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, on that note, Wolf, obviously we're just saying we've been looking good. Um, yeah, just uh, a few things to play with. Now, we haven't had much to play with over the last uh, few weeks, but you know, but what I would say, as I said on the email, this is this is a very very volatile market. If you may, mm -hmm. if you're in it for a trade, you're making through two, three percent. 4% take it. Just don't be greedy. Agree. Absolutely agree. So, you know, trade it short-term basis. And, you know, unless you've, you're on a winner like a PLY or something else, you, you keep some uh, for the rainy day. Um, on that note, Wolf, any any words of wisdom before you go? Oh, well, you, uh, you, you found something very interesting, didn't you, over the weekend um, on your search through the... Yeah, look, I, I, you know, I try to get away maybe once a month for like a weekend, right? Uh, into the bush because I like to cover bit of a break uh mental break and also look for some rocks because you know I, I i like to uh i like to fossick a bit um and i found a nice big you know for those that are interested uh one a, a rock or a fossilized wood called don pon oxylon right so a very native um australian uh well uh, a tree tree species uh back from the day you know millions of years ago and so it was a biggie. So I, I haven't found many biggies because it's been, you know, fossicking the lo longer you get, the lesser, bigger stuff you can get because everyone else fossicks it, it out anyway. Okay, just put, it, just put it simply, you found a piece of wood. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way, it sounds pretty boring. <laughs> and you're excited about it because it's millions of years old. Exactly, exactly, Dave. And it is, it's got patterns on it. It's, you know, it's just lovely. <laughs> 
And I asked you how much. You said two hundred dollars. Mm. It well, costs you more money in petrol. I, to get I, out. I don't think it's about the the value of it. I I I don't treat it as money spinner. I treat it as a hobby that I get great great satisfaction of finding stuff, cutting and polishing it. All right. If it's not about the money, if you find one of those big lumps of gold, give me a call and I'll I'll go. All right. Yeah, so, I'll put it. Like my, I'll, I'll put it in my boot. Okay. Um, on that note, Wolf, thank you very much, champion. Uh, brilliant uh, and some interesting ideas there. Definitely for everyone to have a look at. Thanks, guys. See, See you, Wolf. Bye. Bye.